In this video, let me consider one example on Laplace transform. In the circuit shown below, switch is closed on position 1 at t equal to 0 and at t equal to 500 microsecond, switch is moved to position 2. Obtain equation of current in both intervals. Use Laplace transform. This is the given circuit. Here it is said that at t equal to 0, the switch is connected to position 1. Here k is the switch which is connected to position 1 at t equal to 0. So as we know when the switch is connected to position 1, here this 50 volt circuit is open circuit. Now we can see that the current will flow in this direction. Let current through this is I of t. Now here I can write at t equal to 0 switch k is connected to position 1. Now let me apply KVL to this loop. I can write 100 is equal to voltage across 100 ohm is 100 I of T plus voltage across inductor is that is we know that L D I of T by dt here the value of l is 0 0.2 i will replace this l by 0 0.2 apply laplace transform to above equation so i can get laplace transform of constant is 100 by s plus it is 100 I of S plus this one is 0 0.2 S yes, I of S minus I of 0 where I of 0 is initial current in the circuit and here we can see that initial current in the circuit is assumed to be 0 that is assume initial current that is I of Z, 0 is equal to 0 therefore I can write the same equation as 100 by S is equal to 100 into I of S plus 0.2 S I of S. Further I can represent it as 100 by S is equal to I of S. I will take a common 100 plus 0.2 S. So simplifying this I can write I of S is equal to 100 divided by S yes in bracket we have this term on left side it will become denominator that is 100 plus 0 0.2 S yes. or simplifying this I can write it as 100 divided by S yes in bracket 100 plus 0.2 is nothing but 2 by 10 2 by 10 is 1 by 5 S yes. Or oh, simplifying this I can write this denominator if I take LCM here it will become 500 on numerator and denominator will get yes in bracket it is 500 plus it will be yes so therefore I of S is equal to 500 divided by yes in bracket yes plus 500 now we will simplify this using partial fraction method. Simplify using partial fraction method. I can write I of S is equal to some constant divided by S this another constant B divided by S plus 500 or I can write it as taking LCM as S in bracket S plus 500 so here we will get S plus 500 plus B into S that is I of S let me call this as 1 and this as 2. Now comparing 1 and 2 I can write 500 is equal to A in bracket S plus 500 
plus b into s now put s equal to minus 500 so here a term will become 0 so b value will become b is equal to 500 divided by minus 500 which is equal to minus 1 so the constant b will be equal to minus 1 now put s equal to 0 so we can get here a is equal to so put s equal to 0 in this equation we will get 500 is equal to a into 500 therefore a is equal to 1 therefore I can write i of s is equal to a by s yes, that is a value is 1 1 by s yes, minus 1 by s yes, plus 500 now taking inverse Laplace transform the inverse Laplace transform of i of t is say i of t i of s is i of t inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s yes, is 1 minus inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 500 is nothing but e power minus that is 500 t. So this is the equation of current when switch is connected to position A. So now in the numerical it is given that at t equal to 500 microsecond. So here this is the circuit. So now the current I of t expression we found here it is said that at t equal to 500 microsecond the switch is moved to position 2. So now I can say at t equal to 500 microsecond now we will see what is I of t. The current in the circuit is I can write i of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus 500 into t. t is 500 microsecond. Micro is nothing but 10 power minus 6. So simplifying this, we will get 0 0.221 amps. So this is the current which is move. So this is the current which is flowing into the circuit at t equal to 500 microsecond and here we can see that at t equal to 500 microsecond the switch is moved from position 1 to position 2 that is the circuit will become like this the circuit will become like this so now current in the circuit no current flows here the current will flow around this loop around this loop and current in the circuit initial current in the circuit is 0. Point as we found here 0 0.221 that acts as the initial current therefore i of 0 is equal to 0 0.221 at t equal to 500 microsecond now let me draw the equivalent circuit at t equal to 500 uh, microsecond i'll draw here the switch is connected to point 0.2 and here we have a voltage source of 50 volt there is 100 ohm register and we have inductor of 0 0.2 henry this is 0 0.2 henry this is 100 ohm and current in the circuit is i of t here t value is equal to 500 microsecond so at t equal to 500 microsecond the current initial current will be 0 0.221 now let me apply kvl to this loop i can get 50 is equal to 100 i of t plus voltage across inductor is l di by dt here l value is 0 0.2 di of t by dt now taking laplace transform of this taking Laplace transform here Laplace transform of this will be in general form I can write it as L L S 
i of s minus l i of 0. So now I can write Laplace transform of 50 is 50 by s plus Laplace transform of this is 100 i of t will be i of s plus l s i of s. L value is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 s i of s minus l value is 0 0.2 into i of 0. i of 0 is already calculated that is 0 0.2. 221. So simplify further, I can simplify this as 50 by s is equal to 100 i of s plus 0 0.2 s yes, i of s minus 0. Point. This will be 0 0.0442. I'll take this on left hand side 50 divided by s plus 0. 0.0442 is equal to i'll take i of s common i can write 100 plus 0.2 s further i can simplify this as i'll take s as lcm so i can write 50 plus 0.0442 s divided by s is equal to on right hand side here i will take 0.2 out of the bracket i will try to bring it to standard form so i can write it as i of s into 0.2 in bracket here we have yes plus here 100 divided by 0.2 that will be 500 500 so this side also i will try to bring it to standard form like yes plus something so i'll take this 0 0.0442 out of the bracket 0 0.0442 so here the first term will be 50 divided by this so 50 divided by 0. 0.442 it gives 1132.22 plus s yes divided by v of s yes, which is equal to i of s yes into 0.2 s yes plus 500 sorry this supposed to be 1131.22 so now I can write I of S as I of S is equal to this term 0 0.0442 in bracket S plus 1131.22 divided by S. So now this term will come on denominator 0 0.2 S plus 500. So simplifying this further I can write 0 0.2. 0 0.0442 divided by 0 0.2 it gives 0 0.221 we have s yes plus 1131.22 divided by s yes in bracket s yes plus 500 now again i will simplify this using partial fraction method using partial fraction method I can write i of s is equal to, I will call it as equation 1, a divided by s plus b divided by s plus 500 or I can write i of s is equal to a in bracket, here I'll, the LCM will be s in bracket s plus 500, so here we will get a in bracket s plus 500 plus b into s so now comparing equation 1 and 2 i can write the numerator equal to this numerator that is 0 0.221 s plus we have 1131.22 is equal to here we have a in bracket s plus 500 plus bs so now we'll try to calculate the constants a and b now substitute or put a s is equal to minus 500 if we take s equal to minus 500 a term will become 0 so here we'll get 0 0.221 minus 500 plus 1131.22 is equal to this term will be 0 and we have b into minus 500 
So simplifying this will get B is equal to 0 0.28. So now sub put S is equal to 0 in this equation we will get 0 0.221 in bracket 1131.22 is equal to so when s is 0 b term will become 0 so here it is a into 500 so simplifying this we will get a value as 0 0.5 so therefore i can write i of s is equal to a divided by s that is 0 0.5 divided by s minus 0 0.28 divided by s plus 500 so now taking inverse laplace transform of this i can get i of t is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.28 into 1 over s plus a is e power minus s a that is e power minus 500 into t so this is the current expression at t equal to 500 microsecond thank you for watching